because I hate myself, I am doing a second Bill Maher video in the same week. Um, <laughs> not necessarily something that I think uh, is probably a good idea, but nonetheless, here we are. So as you all know, he brought on Crystal Ball to push back against his idiocy, but he also brought on filmmaker Michael Moore. And, you know, Michael Moore, my feelings on him are mixed, but mostly positive. Michael Moore, for the most part, he still, he seems to have his finger on the pulse more so than other elites. But I will say that there have been times where he's had takes that are questionable to say the least so i want to say maybe it was in march of this year on instagram he made a post where he floated a celebrity for president and i'm blanking on the celebrity but i believe it was someone like tom hanks this is the person who can uh, rally the democratic party base someone who's beloved by the american public so i don't remember who it was specifically but i know that it was a very weird take with that being said, Michael Moore still has a lot of great things to say, and I think that he does make a contribution to the progressive movement that is, for the most part, valuable, even if at times he kind of veers off in a weird direction. But on Bill Maher's show, he actually decided to challenge Bill Maher and push back against Bill Maher's newfangled uh, centrism. And this was really interesting to watch. You and I have fought for years. To, to get the country where it is now. The majority of the, you talked about climate change 20 years ago. You talked yeah. about so many things, the, uh, legalizing marijuana, the fact that that's just right. happening in one state after another now. You were ahead of the curve for so many years. Religion we fought sucks, for yeah. these things. <laughs> no, we fought for these things. <laughs> you, yeah. the minimum right. wage. I'll tell you what Bill Maher believes in. The minimum wage should yes, not be seven twenty-five an hour. No, of the, course go not. Go down the whole list. Okay. Women should be paid the but, same but, as but men wait, if they're doing the same the job. Okay, but let's we go. got the country to okay. where Bill Maher and I, Michael Moore are at. Okay. Why pull back now, Bill, because and the, say we've got to go to the center because, because, to be safe? Because the we country isn't safe. there. Because I'm sorry, you're lumping a lot of uh, vague shit together. The country is for raising the minimum wage, of course. The country is not for Medicare for all. As, as soon as you ask the question, get rid of private health insurance. I mean, Barack Obama said, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor, mm -hmm. which turned right. out to be not true for only 2% of the population. And the whole country went apeshit about the 2%. Right. Now are you going to take away everybody's? Well, Completely every get rid of shows, private? Even though there were so many things to fix about Obama. They Chair, don't like that. that. People don't like that. No, they like the fact that their 26-year-old can still be covered, not That's have to worry Obamacare. about. That's Obamacare. That's Obamacare. Saying, Obamacare. Oh, they like the things about Obamacare, but, right. but it didn't go far enough. And, and we've got 30 million people that are uninsured. Okay. We've got 50 more but million as, as Nancy, that are underinsured. That, that is the As Nancy sad... Pelosi points out, Obamacare is a better benefit. The Medicare for all doesn't play for, pay for catastrophic. You've got to do that yourself. Look, Bill, we're going to beat Trump. We're going to beat Trump. Well, that's not that's, a helpful you know, thing to say. No, it is. No, as I'm you, not, I'm not know, predicting it. We're, I know. No, no, I, no. You and I talked about this. You're the two guys. We're the two guys we're, who said Trump was going to win. And I'll say, so, if the election were okay, tonight, so if the election were tonight, Trump would win. How wow. about that? Ooh. All right. That's how dangerous it is because everybody is so. See, look at the same reaction when I said that three years ago. Yeah. No, no, right. don't say that. You have to respect the evil genius of okay. this guy. Yes, and how he right, gets away exactly. with every right. fucking thing. Okay, so listen, here's an interesting thing. He will get I away only, with this if we don't, I, you and I and others, start fighting. Fighting for the progressive okay. things that we believe he, in. So that goes on longer, and let me just say that Bill Maher, I mean, I don't even know what to say. After that clip, he went on to criticize members of the squad and say that their approval rating is low and that America doesn't like them and that if Donald Trump actually makes them the face of the Democratic Party, then this will be bad for Democrats. See, the problem with Bill Maher is that he only views politics through the uh, lens of personality. It's all about the personalities. And first of all, he doesn't mention that their approval rating is maybe low because Fox News has been relentless in attacking these ladies. But to him, it's all about personality. The policies that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ilhan Omar and what they're talking about, that doesn't matter. It's their personalities. And since Fox News says that they're bad, then, you know, um, they must be bad. So he's just an imbecile. But basically, the point that Michael Moore made, which I think was poignant, was that why now, all of a sudden, after being a progressive, you're saying, wait, pump the brakes. I mean, we finally get this vocal left-wing movement in the country, which is what we needed, which is what you previously said we need. And now, all of a sudden, you're against them. You're shitting on them. Why? 
And Bill Maher's response, idiotically enough, was, it's not where the country's at. Really? We elected Donald Trump. The establishment has failed Americans. They're ready for change. They're ready for bold progressivism. And if you look at countries throughout the world, in every country where there is a Trumpian figure, Brazil, the UK, there is always someone who is progressive, who is incredibly popular. Left-wing policies, vocal, social democratic and socialist policies are the antidote to fascism and right-wing populism. That's the only thing that actually can permanently defeat Donald Trump, okay? So the fact that Bill Maher doesn't get that by now, it shows how naive he is and how he's just not engaged. And what's odd to me is the prime example he brings up to show why Americans aren't with progressives. Medicare for all. He says Americans don't support Medicare for all. They don't support Medicare for all. Have you read any poll lately, Bill? Any poll. Most polls show that Medicare for all is overwhelmingly popular. And some polls even show that a majority of Republicans support it. But he goes on to lie about Medicare for all and frames it as taking away health care. So that's why it's not popular. Obama said, if you like your doctor, you can keep it. And now we're going to take, you know, insurance away. You know, it's interesting to me that all of these people, they just, one person will say it and then everyone else will repeat it. It's like a telephone, but for corporate talking points. Now, I don't believe that Bill Maher is meeting, you know, in a smoke-filled back room with the Democratic Party strategists, so that way they can all get on the same page and say the same thing. But, you know, it's just, it shows you that his level of political analysis is very superficial. He just parrots what he hears on the mainstream media. That's it. That's all, you know, he does. That's the extent of research that he performs. Research, if you even want to call it that. Medicare for All is incredibly popular. And if you look at this poll from the Morning Consult, if you explain to people that even if we take away their private health insurance but replace it with Medicare for All where they get to still see their doctors and go to the hospitals that they want, it's still is popular. So for you to say Medicare for all is not where the American people are, that's laughable. Look at all the policies that Bernie Sanders is proposing and they have majority support. Raising the minimum wage, Medicare for all, a Green New Deal, a federal jobs guarantee. The writing is on the wall. Bernie Sanders is the candidate that can basically defeat Donald Trump and put us on the trajectory of social democracy. But to Bill Maher, he probably buys into all of this fear-mongering that he sees in the mainstream news. He just thinks, well, you know, if you run a far-left candidate, Donald Trump is going to pounce and we're going to lose. And, you know, having Trump for another four years, that wouldn't make me feel good. I mean, look, Donald Trump and the Republican Party, they can move as far to the right as they want. But the minute that people on the left start inching closer towards social democracy, that's when people on the supposed left say, hang on now, pump the brakes. It's a double standard. Republicans can become as extreme as they want to be. Move off a cliff and it doesn't matter. Nobody's really uh, calling them out for that, including liberals. But when leftists say, hey, you know what? Maybe we should have a healthcare system that's comparable to our neighbors just north of the border. Maybe we should actually pay our workers a living wage so that way we reduce poverty. We actually have a middle class again. That's when we are the ones that are scolded. It's just, it's irritating. And I can't stand Bill Maher. And he has permanently damaged his credibility here. So I, I think that at this point, Bill Maher is just too far gone. I don't think that anything would make him see the light. I mean, Bernie Sanders, even if he were elected and Jeremy Corbyn was elected and Lula was freed and throughout the world, social Democrats are introducing these policies that are changing people's lives for the better and restoring faith in, you know, the political establishment, he still would probably find some reason to shit on them. The man's an idiot. He... He's out of touch, and I think that that's evident. Uh, I'm just glad that he's still at least open to bring on people like Michael Moore and Crystal Ball who are willing to challenge him because I guess that's the best that we can hope for when you have someone who is this out of touch. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.